Welcome to Super Easy History, where today we hop on a camel train set for the ancient nation of Iran. Once there, we'll explore over 2,500 years of Iranian history, beginning all the way back in the 6th century BC. We'll cover kings, emperors, conquests and defeats, as well as religion, innovative systems of government, and the precursors to some of the modern tension in the Middle East. So, sit back, relax, and make sure your Ayatollah approves, because these are five fun facts about the history of Iran. Number one. Before we can get into that, we first need to clear up the differences between the names Iran and Persia. The term Iran is the name of a large multi-ethnic country located in the Middle East that has been used by the people there to refer to their land for thousands of years. Persia, on the other hand, refers to a specific Iranian ethnic group, the Persians. The reason we often hear Iran referred to as Persia is because in the 6th century BC, the Persians, under their leader Cyrus the Great, brought all of Iran under their control and then conquered most of the Middle East. This brought the Persians, for the first time, into contact with the Greeks, the ancestors of Western civilization. As the first Iranians that the Greeks met were Persians, they came to call the entirety of their land Persia. Iran remained Persia in the West all the way up until 1935, when their government asked all countries Persia engaged in diplomacy with to officially refer to their country as the more inclusive Iran. Number 2. The first Persian Empire, known as the Achaemenid Empire, was founded by Cyrus the Great in 550 BC. Cyrus built an empire that stretched from Central Asia all the way through modern Iran and to the Aegean Sea. At its height, the Achaemenid Empire ruled over a staggering 45% of the world's population. To put that into perspective, the most populous modern nation, China, has only about 20% of today's world population. In order to govern over its many peoples, the Achaemenid Empire was divided into provinces, each ran by a governor or satrap. Cyrus's empire was the first to decentralize power in this way, away from the king, on such a large scale. Cyrus is not only great for his conquest, though. He was, by nearly all accounts, a just ruler who treated all of his people, whether they be Persian, Mesopotamian, or Greek, with respect. When he conquered Babylonia, for example, Cyrus became one of the few leaders throughout history to actually be nice to the Jews. He freed from the Babylonians Jewish slaves and allowed them to return en masse to their homeland. Then he assisted in the construction of the second Jewish temple on the Temple Mount, and became the only non-Jew to ever be called Messiah. Number 3. The Achaemenid Empire, obviously, didn't last forever, and it was conquered by Alexander the Great towards the end of the 300s BC. After Alexander's death, Iran came under the control of one of his generals, and later a tribe from northern Iran called the Parthians. In 224 AD, the Parthians were replaced by a new Persian dynasty, the Sassanids, who formed a new empire of Iran. The Sassanids attempted to recapture the old glory of the Achaemenid Empire, and, to some degree, they were successful. They expanded their influence far outside of Iran, just as Cyrus had, but never quite reached to the same territorial extent as the Achaemenid Empire. The Sassanids and the Achaemenids shared the same religion, Zoroastrianism, which had been the dominant religion of Iran since the time before Cyrus the Great. However, after being weakened by decades of conflict with the Eastern Roman Empire in the 6th and 7th centuries, the Sassanid Empire was destroyed in only about five years by the followers of a new religion that had recently formed in the Arabian Desert, Islam. Over the next few centuries, Islam became Iran's dominant religion, while Zoroastrianism became practically extinct. Number 4. A variety of Muslim kings and dynasties ruled Iran for the next 1300 years, culminating in the Iranian Revolution. The last king, or Shah of Iran, was a man called Mohammad Reza of the Pahlavi dynasty, who reigned from 1941 until 1979. He was an authoritarian leader, but also attempted to implement a series of modernizing reforms in Iran. Importantly, he attempted to foster an Iranian identity of the sort that hasn't existed since the fall of the Sassanids, an identity separate from Islam. In pursuit of this aim, he had himself crowned Shashanar, literally King of Kings, the title of the old Persian emperors. Unfortunately for the Shah, his authoritarianism angered much of Iran's left-wing population, especially young people, while his attempts at modernization antagonized the country's devout Muslim clerics, including a certain Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini. Working together and led by Khomeini, 
those two groups overthrew the Shah in 1979 and established the Islamic Republic of Iran, with Khomeini as supreme leader. The power of the Islamic Republic over Iran was cemented after the country united against an Iraqi invasion during the Iran-Iraq War from 1980 to 1988. Number 5. For the last 40 years, Iran has been isolated from the rest of the world. The regimes led by Khomeini and his successor Ali Khamenei created a system of government that enshrines God as the ultimate source of legislation and have instituted strict Islamic law across Iran. The Islamic Republic has taken foreigners prisoner, supported terrorist organizations across the Middle East, and has even attempted to develop nuclear weapons. In response, much of the world sanctioned Iran and crippled the Iranian economy, preventing them from exporting oil. In 2015, a deal was reached between the world powers and Iran that was aimed to lift sanctions and prevent Iran from acquiring nukes. However, the United States left the Iran deal in 2018, and since then, tensions between the two countries have grown exponentially. And those were five fun facts about the nation of Iran. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to go down below, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Or check out one of these great videos to the left. As always, thank you for watching Super Easy History.